five, a woman right now is recovering at the hospital. Her family was hit by a Metro police car on their way home from work. And only on 13 Action News, you'll hear from the man inside that car about those terrifying moments and what he wants from police. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George right now is live right near Swenson and Sierra Vista with this story. Tom. <laughs> Yeah, and this was a terrifying situation for them. They were on their way home. They were going through this intersection you see right here. They say they had the green light when they ended up becoming innocent victims of police trying to catch a suspect. In the blink of an eye, this smiling family's world changed. I just got picked up from work like I normally get picked up from work. Uh, we were just leaving McDonald's, getting something to eat. Dion Cage, Delilah Coleman, and their daughter Alea were almost home near Swenson and Sierra Vista when their light turned green. Go into the intersection, look to the left, bam. Their car was T-boned the side Delilah was driving on. The force was so strong, their three-year-old daughter was knocked out of her car seat. When I look back, she was in the middle of the, next to the car seat. So she was crying. All I could remember was just grabbing her, making sure my daughter was okay. But Delilah was hurt badly. The car that hit them, a Metro police car. He says the officer got out and apologized before getting them help. I don't know what, what was my problem. I don't, I don't know what happened. I was just, you know, trying to do what he was doing, but he said he was just, you know, he, he couldn't stop. Turns out that officer was pursuing a robbery suspect. <laughs> Dion says he understands they have a job to do, but they should have been more careful. I would have veered this way instead of veering this way. Delilah now facing a long road to recovery. Dion just glad things weren't worse and has a message for that officer. Taking that it wasn't a fatality, and I know you're a God-fearing man, just like I'm a God-fearing man, I, I forgive you. Now, even though he does forgive them, he does say that Del Delilah is dealing with mounting medical bills, not to mention missing work, and he does want to see the department step up and help out with that. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll delve into what Metro policy says about when bystanders are involved in situations like this and what their policy is for conducting these types of chases. Reporting live, Tom George, 13 Action News.